Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure comparison video. And today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Rogue from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave by Hasbro. And we're going to see how she compares to the brand new Marvel Select Rogue by Diamond Select. And we're not going to waste any time with this, so let's jump right into it starting with the sculpt and the detail. So the first thing I noticed when I had these two figures side by side is that the proportions on the Marvel Legends version are a little bit better. I feel like the legs are a little long on the Marvel Select version in comparison to the torso because I feel like both of the torsos are about the same size but the legs are much longer on the select version and it kind of just makes her look out of proportion. But only a little bit. If the legs were just a hair shorter or maybe if the torso was a little bit longer, then the proportions would look right. Of course, she'd be a lot taller than people would like, but I think it would, uh, you know, it would just look more the way that it's supposed to like a normal person this just kind of looks like her legs are a little bit too long not by much but it's something you can notice when you have them standing side by side and taking a close look at the two figures i think that both companies do a really good job of capturing the overall look of rogue the details on the marvel select version are much better because they actually sculpt everything all the costume details are sculpted all this is sculpted the collar is sculpted and on the marvel legends version everything is just painted on that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to marvel legends they reuse a bunch of pieces and then they add stuff just to try to make it unique like they have the glove cuffs here that are unique to rogue and then the little boot cuffs that just kind of float around these things get a little frustrating same thing here check this out this will fall all the way down and i just wish they'd sculpt that stuff instead of just having these weird plastic overlays but you know it is what it is with the marvel select all the details are sculpted as you can see and the sculpt work is very well done both of the figures have really nice jackets, but the Marvel Select one is far superior in my opinion. It looks more realistic. The Marvel Legends one definitely looks plastic and just kind of lazy, especially with the X-Patch. It looks like they just, you know, slop some paint on there. On the Marvel Select version, they put some love into it. It has like black and red, not just red, and it actually looks like a patch on the jacket. So that is very, very nice. And the two the two companies definitely went with like different body types. You could see that the Marvel Legends version has like a more, I guess you could say voluptuous type of body. And the Marvel Select version looks a little more slender. And I've seen Rogue portrayed both ways, so I don't want to say either one is inaccurate. I'd say probably because of the animated series, most people tend to think that she looks more like the Marvel Legends version. I don't know if that's true, but, you know, I, people are always going to attach themselves to the the way they think a character looks and they're just going to go with that even though there's all kinds of different interpretations and different artists and things like that and everybody draws and does things different i think for the most part both of these characters capture different looks of rogue or different body types of rogue anyway and both of them have the iconic belt and on the marvel legends version it just kind of hangs around on the marvel select version it is loose but it's glued on in the back and one thing i really hate about what marvel legends does is rogue is someone wearing a costume but you could see her belly button right there that's whack it's kind of hard to see but it's definitely noticeable and for the head sculpts i think both companies did a pretty good job but i'd say i like the diamond select version a lot better it looks more realistic to me i like the way that the hair looks you have the headband that's kind of hidden under the hair without the piece hanging out like you have over here i think it would have been nice if they did have that piece kind of just faded in with the hair or kind of like weave through the hair i think that would have been cool so that's a slight advantage that the head sculpt on the marvel legends has is the fact that it has that but it's kind of done sloppy it's just plugged into her head and it looks crazy i do like the way the makeup and stuff looks on her on her head on her face and stuff but yeah i don't know i'm just i mean the head sculpt is fine I, i'm not gonna say i'm not a fan of it i think it looks okay but i don't think it looks as good as the diamond select one and one thing i'm not crazy about when it comes to marvel legends head sculpts is that all the female head sculpts look very similar they just have slight differences but you could just kind of repaint these things and then they become interchangeable this head sculpt looks really unique to rogue so I, I'm going to say that I like the head sculpt a lot better on the Diamond Select version. And I'm just going to say I like the sculpt a lot better on her. Aside from the proportions, the Marvel Legends version doesn't have anything over the Marvel Select one. The Marvel Select one has a bunch of beautiful details. And I love the paint too. Some of the paint is a little sloppy, but the overall paint design is awesome i love the bright yellow versus the orange yellow that the marvel legends has i love the shiny green both of them have kind of a shiny green but i think i like the darker green on the marvel select one more i would say i will say that the paint apps are cleaner on the marvel legends version that's for sure there is some sloppiness on the marvel select version nothing crazy but i'd say there's more sloppiness on the select version than there are on the marvel legends version but yeah i'd say as far as like the the care and the detail and what they're going 
going for the diamond select version is a lot better as far as the sculpt detail and paint i mean the paint is fine on the marvel legends one everything is clean and stuff but it just feels lazy you know it just feels like a piece of plastic with um you know some minor paint on it and stuff like that but, um, you know, still, I think both of these figures look really good. But I'd say overall, this category goes to the Marvel Select version. And in the accessories department, I'm going to have to give that to Marvel Select too because she comes with three different sets of hands and a really cool Danger Room diorama piece that you could connect with other Danger Room diorama pieces that Diamond Select has given us. And the Marvel Select version only comes with one extra hand, which is a hand that doesn't have a glove on it, which is pretty cool because you could show her using her powers. But even with that, Diamond Select found a more creative way to make that happen by having the opposite hand of the ungloved hand holding the glove that she removed so I think that was a really cool way to do it I guess you could maybe count the head that comes with the mystique figure as an accessory for rogue but not really because then you have to buy a whole nother figure to get that but that is something that you could use with rogue so I don't know that's up to you if you want to consider that even still I'm gonna give it to the Marvel select when it comes to scale there's not really a winner here because they're different scales and both figures look perfectly fine within their own lines so the Marvel Legends version looks really good next to the marvel legends gambit the marvel select version looks really good next to the marvel select gambit but if you want to try to cross over with some other lines out there i think that you're better off with the marvel select version because she's a little bit bigger and as you can see if you put her next to mezco wolverine she looks really good i think that size that size difference between those two figures is really good but if you put the mezco wolverine next to the marvel legends rogue He's about the same size as her, and I don't like that. I, I want Rogue to be much taller than Wolverine, so I think I like the way that the Mezco version looks next to the uh, Diamond Select one. I think that works really good, and same thing goes with the Revil Tech Wolverine. If you put the Revil Tech Wolverine next to the Marvel Select Rogue, I think that works really good as far as scale goes. I think the styles clash, obviously, because Revil Tech kind of has their own thing going, but as far as scale goes, I think that really works, and again, it doesn't really work with the Marvel Legends version, so I say that the diamond select version has a little bit more potential to cross over with some other lines out there the articulation on these figures is something that really surprised me because the marvel select version has a lot more articulation than the legends one and that's usually not the case because diamond select tends to focus on sculpt over articulation so as a result marvel legends usually beats them in that department but that's definitely not the case here the marvel select version has a lot of good stuff going on that the marvel legends version just lacks for instance the marvel select version has double jointed elbows the Legends one does not. Select has the upper bicep swivel. Legends one does not. Select has the lower leg swivel. Legends one does not. And the the Select one has a, a hinge joint in the neck. The Marvel Legends does not. I didn't realize how much more articulation the, the Select one had over the Legends one until I was sitting here messing with them. I forgot that the Legends one doesn't have the upper bicep swivel or a hinge in the neck area. And... I mean, I guess she gets a little bit more movement out of her torso, but I mean, not much. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much the same as far as that goes. But yeah, overall, the articulation setup is much more superior on the Diamond Select one. And yeah, that's just rare. That's kind of bizarre. They've definitely been stepping up their articulation and Rogue is a very good example of that. Hopefully they continue that going forward. But yeah, that's crazy. And it just kind of makes... Marvel Legends and Hasbro look silly because they just <laughs> refuse to put double jointed elbows in there uh, With some exceptions a couple figures have it, but yeah, that's that's crazy So I mean if Diamond Select could do it I'm sure Hasbro could do it and it's not like you can't really blame the scale and I don't know I mean the arms are are they that much longer? I guess so it looks like Select versions arms are way longer but if they were this long long enough to be able to put the double jointed elbow in there would it look bad i don't know maybe 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 hasbro's right i don't know but anyways it's definitely possible to put double jointed elbows on females hopefully hasbro takes some notes here and, and gets it cracking as far as that goes but yeah in general the articulation is much better on the diamond select version as far as swapping the heads there are some options but none of them are really perfect a lot of people are very curious as to whether or not the heads can be switched on these two figures and the answer is yes but it does take a little bit of work first off it was very hard to remove the head from the select version i had to use a lot of heat with the blow dryer but eventually i was able to get it off and i put it onto the marvel legends version but it doesn't really fit perfectly because the hair is so big and the jacket kind of gets in the way and also you just can't slip it all the way onto the neck joint here if you do it'll sit way too low i guess it is possible to pop it on but it's very hard and as you can see it's way too low it looks ridiculous but if you kind of 
this back off. Give me a second. If you just leave it on the ball joint and kind of let the hair rest on the collar, it does look pretty good. I do like the way that looks. I think that works if that's something that you want to do. And as far as the Marvel Legends head on the select body, it doesn't work at all. As you can see, it looks very strange right there. Just kind of hanging out all awkwardly. The neck looks too long. The the hole in the head for the ball joint is is way too big for the Marvel Select peg. And you can see this just comes right off. And yeah, it just doesn't work at all. But what's kind of interesting is if you take the Rogue head that came with Mystique, you can put it on here. And that actually almost kind of works as a mid-transformation mystique. It's not supposed to look exactly like Rogue. Kind of looks like a contorted version of Rogue. And I mean, that kind of works. So if you want to do that, I think that works a lot better than trying to get this head on there. But I think more people were interested in putting the select head onto the Legends body. And if that's what you want to do, I think that looks kind of cool. But it just sits a little low. And you know, I'm not too concerned with the losing the articulation on the head you know it's okay just to have it sitting there because it's not like the original head got that that great of articulation anyways it was kind of it's able to go side to side but not up or down really so what are you really losing by putting that marvel select head on there no matter what she wasn't going to look up with just the head joint so i mean i, I think that works if you just wanted to hang out on the shelf if anyone's curious you are able to put the marvel select hands onto the marvel legends version and the paint doesn't really match, but they do fit on there nicely. And as far as the size goes, I think it works. But as you can see, it's a brighter yellow than the cuff on the Legends version. But if you feel like repainting it, I think that's a pretty cool option to have. Okay, guys, so let's do a quick recap. As far as the sculpt and the overall detail, I think the Marvel Select version did better because they actually have sculpted details for the costume. It doesn't just look like a naked person that's been painted. I also like the yellow better on the Select version over the Marvel Legends version. I think that the brighter yellow works better for Rogue. The one clear advantage that the Marvel Legends version has is that the proportions are a little bit better, but overall, the sculpt and design is much better on the Diamond Select version. And then for the accessories, the Marvel Legends version only comes with one extra hand, and that's about it. For the Marvel Select version, we get multiple sets of hands and the Danger Room piece. And then as far as the scale goes, you know, I I've discussed it a lot in my Rogue review. You could try to fit Rogue into your Marvel Legends display if you want, but, you know, she's a Marvel Select, so she's made for Marvel Select, and the Marvel Legends version is made for Marvel Legends. I will say that I feel like the Marvel Select version has more potential to cross into other lines, and even with some slight modifications, you could fit her right into Legends, or just with some clever posing and displaying you could even fit her into legends as is in my opinion i know not everyone agrees with that but that's just what i think and for the articulation the marvel select version is way better than the marvel legends version i never thought i'd say that but here we are as far as which one is a better value that's really hard to determine right now because the marvel legends version is pretty much impossible to get for a decent price and the marvel select one will cost you about 30 dollars. their price has gone up with the last couple of releases but i think it's still pretty reasonable but even if you even if you consider the retail cost of each of these figures, I still think the value is better with the Rogue, with the Select version. It has more articulation, more accessories, all the things that you'd want in an action figure. And they they both cost around the same price. I guess the Marvel Legends version would have been closer to $20 as opposed to $30 with the Select version. But still, they're kind of still in the same ballpark. And when you think about that, the Select version is a much better value. Okay, so overall, I'm going to have to say that the Marvel Select version is better. I feel like Diamond Select put a little bit more love into their figure than the Hasbro version did. And I understand the nature of Hasbro Marvel Legends. It's a lot of reuses with just a little, like, changes to make figures feel a little bit different. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I'd say that with Rogue, it works. But, you know, when you get a completely unique version of the same character, that that's just going to feel superior. So that's how I feel right now with the Diamond Select one. It just feels like a brand new figure. The Rogue from Marvel Legends is awesome, but even when I first had it, it felt like something I've had before, you know? It, it's basically the same figure as uh, Moonstone that we got from that uh, Comic-Con Thunderbolt box set a couple years back. It's basically the same figure, or I felt like I was holding the same figure, you know? So, I know that's the nature of Marvel Legends, and I'm not mad at that, but, you know, you get a new figure that feels like a new figure, and, you know, you're, you're gonna say that one's better, and that's where I'm at. So, for me, the Marvel Select is better. Be sure to let me know which figure you like better out of these two. And also, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And thank you very much. Peace.
crispy. 